Bluff. We're under flash flood warning till 6.30 uh, Central Time tonight. Uh, more flash flood warnings, I think, will be issued throughout the evening. Uh, Deshaies, Drew, and Lincoln counties also under flash flood warnings tonight. A ton of rain here, and in just the past 12 hours, some places have picked up double-digit rain. Can you imagine 13 inches of rain uh, south of Greenville here in the past 12 hours? That's about three months' worth of rain. Uh, in 12 hours. Remarkable. A lot of flood reports out there. North Carrollton, numerous streets and roads flooded, roads washed out. In Singleton, roads with flooding, uh, homes taking on water in the Conway community. And in Florence, here in extreme southeastern Arkansas, a lot of multiple residents uh, being flooded out, uh, forced to boat out of some of the flooded areas here. So these are the kind of reports that we're getting and with more rain in the, and I'd say in this particular area right here, Jack, you kind of Arkansas over in Mississippi, that's the area we watch once again tonight for more issues. Yeah, it's been tough. You know, Arkansas has just been plagued with flooding rain this week and it's causing some significant damage to a major industry in the state, farming. Now a farmer in Tiller, Arkansas is sharing how the floodwaters are destroying his crops. I'm the fourth generation. We've been here since 1941. 17 was the last good spring we had where we could plant in a timely fashion, keep the soil at a good moisture where seeds would germinate. Out of the 3,000 acres we farm, there's five or 600 acres that's still underwater over 24 hours later. 12 to 14 inches of rain in about that many hours. Drop that much rain that fast, it, no matter what you try to do, you're not going to accept that much water in that short of time. I've never seen it this bad. Uh, I was talking to my dad. He's never seen it this bad. Uh, my grandfather never talked about it being this bad, and some other guys that are older around here that have lived here all their lives and worked here all their lives, they've never seen it happen this bad. If it comes off today, if the water comes off today, we might be able to salvage a crop out of it, but there's some fields that they're done. Lost yield, lost profit, lost opportunities to uh, to do a good job. Between flooding and all that drought, agriculture really struggling right now. Well, coming up on Weather Underground, a stunning eclipse lighting up the sky and the internet this morning. We've got some of the best videos from the Ring of Fire. Plus, our carbon footprint and travel. We're gonna discuss how various modes of transportation impact the environment and the potential changes that we can all make for the better.